in my life, I've always felt like a little bit of um, an outsider or the weird one. And there haven't been really people um, that I can talk to how the way how I see the world. Um, like neither in school or later at work uh, or in family and friends. And um, like people in early in life were fighting a lot and, and I always try to uh, handle things differently. And now I'm in a point at a point in my life where I wonder if I will ever find people or like in near me that I can be connected with. Right, right. Yeah. I understand you yeah. completely. <laughs> <laughs> there are probably quite a few people here you can connect with. Yes. But of course, after our event here, the, all these people here become dispersed again throughout the world. <clears throat> you can, through the miracles of modern technology, which is not all bad, you can perhaps keep in touch with some of them, and quite a few of you, I'm sure, will keep in touch with each other. Uh, the sense of being an outsider is also something that I have had throughout my life, and uh, the sense of not belonging here, uh, watching my parents being engaged in continuous conflict, not because they were bad people, they, were, they did what they did, and they loved me as best they could, and they did what they did as a reflection of their state of consciousness at that time, which was a normal state of consciousness, egoic state of consciousness. But I sometimes felt, how did I get here? Somehow, I didn't, there must have been a mistake. <laughs> um, it's often outsiders uh, it's being feeling an outsider on the one hand is seems a terrible limitation that you f can't participate as much on the other hand it's a great opportunity because some of the uh, most creative people uh, in the world have have been outsiders they did not fit in uh, misfits is the English word. Uh, misfits. Um, now, uh, the friendships I had when I was a child, and that's another interesting thing. I had a friend, one of my friends was, had, was severely physically disabled, uh, <coughs> and nobody else wanted to be friends with him because of that, and he was probably my closest friend. And the other one was so weird that nobody wanted to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he became my friend, so they were outsiders too. And, uh, but the interesting fact here, as you know, I couldn't believe it when they told me that there are people here from 70 countries. It seems almost unbelievable, but it's true, I saw the list. <laughs> 70 countries. And you may find, I'm sure you will find, quite often, uh, you, you, you can feel a bond, or you have, you have more in common with many of the people who are here than you have with your own people in your own country at home who are not going through any spiritual awakening, mm -hmm. who are still totally conditioned, 100% conditioned by their culture. So you feel a connectedness here with other humans that transcends culture and conditioning and all this silly political stuff. 
it transcends that. And this is a, a wonderful thing. So to some extent, uh, you can now connect with people even if you don't always see them physically. You might live, I don't know whether you live in a big city or a small village. A uh, small city. Small city. Small city, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What city? Uh, Innsbruck in Austria. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice, very nice. Uh, I don't know how many people in Innsbruck are. 120,000. And how many of those are awakening? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, of course. But this helps, I believe, being here and feeling you are not alone. You are connected. So this should be a help for, for the rest. You just have to accept that this is how it is. Mm -hmm. And no matter how hard you try to fit in on the normal level, you probably won't, not you have to. Mm -hmm. So I know this. there are many people here who feel that and be happy with it. Yeah. But don't make it into some kind of superiority because the ego can always creep in before you know it there's always a back door and then the ego is back in so you can you could go from feeling bad about being an outsider to suddenly feeling okay i'm an outsider because i'm superior and then so we have to be careful and don't go there so um that's just how it is if you you probably would not be here if you had not been an out felt like an outsider for many years yeah. so it worked yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs>